Alison, can you just tell me about your practice? Yes, sure. Um, I, we've been in existence now for nearly 20 years. Next year is our 20 year anniversary. And it's occupational therapy, isn't it? Um, it? Actually, it's more than that. Yeah, we have mm. a whole range of health professionals. So uh, other than uh, we don't have doctors in our, in our consultancy or psychiatrists or psychologists, but we have occupational therapists. We have about 90 occupational therapists who predominantly do care reports. Uh, but we also have about 90 nurses uh, and midwives who deal with breach of duty reports. So we've got a range of experts who deal with either liability or quantum. Well, Alison, you must come across a lot of firms of solicitors. Any problems working with them? Oh, yes. Um, from time to time. I have to say the vast majority uh, we get on with extremely well, but of course um, we do have some problems from time to time. Some of the biggest issues that we might have are poor instructions uh, would be one, very unclear instructions, um, and uh, poor case management, poor time management, if you're looking for issues with, sure. uh, with some of the solicitors that, that we work Can with. Can I just ask, in mm. terms of instructions, clearly it's very important that you have proper mm. instructions. Mm. What do you do when you get a set of instructions like that? Uh, generally speaking, what we will do is we will have an understanding of what we think the instructions are Should supposed be. to be saying. And rather than go back to the client and uh, ask them to rewrite their instructions, which will probably take a long time and further delay the instruction of our expert and cut down on the time frame that they've got to write their report, we will go back to the client and say, we think this is what you want us to do. Please, is will you right? confirm right, okay. uh, that you're happy that we proceed in this way? So we almost will write our own instructions in, in, in that situation. I have to say the vast majority of solicitors write extremely good instructions sure, these sure, days. Sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm just trying to deal with mm. experts who do have problems. And, and in terms of poor case management, what sort of issues come up? Um, yes, a number of things there. One, a typical thing would be drip feeding us evidence. A report may be submitted and six months later we get new evidence and yes, that changes my opinion and so I need to do a report amendment. You send in a submitted, you submit an amended report and two weeks later you get another expert. So the drip feeding so It's sort of drip feeding, it's not cost effective, you have to go back to your report all the time. Um, and experts are very, very busy people, and it would be so much easier if everything was uh, amalgamated properly and, uh, and properly organised and dealt with in one go. Now, our, our recent survey has shown that some solicitors are putting pressure on experts to perhaps improve their opinion. Have you experienced that at all? Um, to, to be honest, I don't know that, no. that we particularly have. Um, Potentially it could come up in a case conference, but all of our experts are trained uh, and they all understand when it's appropriate for them to amend their reports and when they need to not amend their reports and they're being asked to do something. Of course it's quite good. proper for a solicitor to press an expert, isn't yes, it? Yes, for, for clarity, for, for clarity. accuracy, yes, which is not a problem. The biggest problem we do have, and this happens I would say on a, a weekly basis at least, is both claimants and defendant solicitors, there's not uh, one more than the other, uh, will ask us to remove dates from uh, evidentiary documents that we have received. Oh, right. So we might have expert reports uh, and they ask us to remove the dates or they might even, uh, just before submission of our own report, service of our own report, say actually that report there um, is a privileged document, we've decided not to rely on it, please will you remove it from uh, from your list of documents um, and of course we have to take this very very seriously Surely. because if our expert has relied on that evidence then we can't agree to remove it from the list of documents um, and there are a lot of clients who are not happy with that approach but generally speaking when we speak to them about it have great difficulty in arguing the point. Well Alison thank you very much indeed thanks for your time. It's my pleasure thanks Mark.